Show us your plates, ladies and gentlemen of the Susan Powder Show audience. And what are those plates full of? Fried chicken. Food, fried chicken, yams with marshmallows, best baked potato, little incredible gravy. All right. All these foods you have to give up, right? Everything sitting in front of me. Foods you can never eat again because we're all so fat free. We're all so conscious of high fat foods and you're never going to see these kind of foods again. So all you got to do is take this plate, throw it out the window and live on low fat junk, right? Uh-uh. No, the colonel's not out of your life forever. I promise you, you can handle that hungry guy. You can have the mashed potatoes. The stuffing, you can still have it. I promise, I promise you still can. But we don't know how. I know, I thought I had to give it up. I never thought I'd have anything rich and creamy and buttery ever again as long as I lived. Well, you know what I found out? You can. Being hungry is okay. We all eat for different reasons. I mean, whether it's comfort, whether it's for your sweet tooth, whether it's salt, as God is my witness. Three days before my period, I would cut your hand off for salt. Somebody's got a salted pretzel in their hand. It's like, give me that salted pretzel. I swear, it's absolutely true. I, when I recently came home, and my sons were in their room, and it was a little messy. And I was a little edgy. You know what it's like when you're like a blowfish. You're so bloaty because all you've eaten all day is salt. I'm like a blowfish. I'm a little irritable. I blow up. Nobody in this house respects the fact that I work it. I'm the only one. And my sons are backing out the door while I go and eat more salt to blow up a little more, to get a little edgier. So we all eat for different reasons, and it's okay to eat. It is hard to give up fat. I mean, who doesn't like that, that tastes good. Greasy foods taste good. For, what's better than fried? Come on, guys. Who, I want to meet anybody out there who has learned to eat just one cookie. I want to meet you. Give me a call. And really want to meet the person who figured out how to eat one potato chip. You know what my motto is? If you can't eat the bag, don't bother. That's what I live by. I, do you like the behavior modification? How about this? You got, let's pretend for a second, this is visualization and behavior modification mixed in. Let's pretend this is a plate of pizza. A big, juicy, cheesy, fabulous pizza. And here's the diet rule. You're going to eat one slice of that pizza and you're going to push, push, push the rest of the plate away. Get out of here. Who does that kind of stuff? If you can't eat the whole pie, why bother even sitting down in front of the pizza? Right? Don't you agree with that? Well, what are you supposed to eat? I'm telling you right now, you're supposed to eat fried chicken, you're supposed to eat, can you get it? Come here. Mashed potatoes, you're supposed to eat the best stuffing you've ever tasted, and you are absolutely supposed to have this yammy thing with the marshmallows on top. That's what you're supposed to eat. And you guys can pick up the phone right now, and you can call everybody you know and say, oh, by the way, Susan Powder is about to eat a plate full of fried chicken and mashed potatoes and stuffing on national TV. Call them, call them, because I am. I'm going to do it. I'm about to eat it right now, and you can share it with all your friends. Call the Globe. Please call the Globe. If you want to know how to eat this, if you want to know how to make it, you want to know how not to give up one single thing, who doesn't love stuffing that you love to eat? Watch this show. You're going to learn it, and you'll realize all the taste, all the textures you can love, and you don't have to be fat. Thanks for joining us. going from high fat to low fat, if you want to change the way you feel, because you know, high fat meals, sometimes you sit down and you eat this stuff and you feel clogged and you feel heavy and you feel tired, you want to take like a nine hour nap after you eat a huge steak or a huge greasy piece of chicken. It isn't just about losing dress sizes and losing weight. It's really a lifestyle change. And it doesn't mean you have to give up taste or texture. The guy who wrote the book, uh, Controlling Your Fat Tooth, you know, everybody's seen it, it's out there. His name is Joe Piscatella, Joe Pisca something. Go and get the book and have a look. I recently spoke with him and you know what he said? He said, changing your lifestyle from high fat to low fat is not always a revolution. It's usually more of an evolution, which means slowly and steadily you make changes. Well, where better to start than the foods you love, like the fried foods, like the chicken, like the stuffing. These are the foods that I say, don't give them up. Don't give up fried chicken. Don't ever not go and sit down to a huge plate of the thing you love the most. But maybe you can change enough 
so that you can drop a few dress sizes. I mean, maybe your thighs could go from this to this. What the heck? You take a regular plate of fried chicken, 56% fat. You know the fried chicken we're going to do today? It's 10% fat. You know, that's an enormous amount of fat. Oh, pardon that pun. An enormous amount of fat that you're not putting in your body or on your butt or on your thighs or under your arms. So all you're doing, you enjoy your taste, you have your texture, but all you're really doing is cutting back on the one thing that I'm sure you want just a little less of in your life. All right, fried chicken, who doesn't like it? I just tasted this crust. I couldn't believe how good it tasted. Have a look at this. I'm going to show you how to make this fried chicken. 10% fat. Look at this. Okay, now you know what you're doing here? You take your breadcrumbs, you place them in a bowl. You're adding parsley, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and seasoning salt. Now you just add it all together. You kind of shake it up and set it aside. Take your chicken breast, dip it in non-fat yogurt. Now guys, that's non-fat yogurt. Then you're going to dip it in flour. So you smush it around like that. Then you're going to dip it in egg whites that are beaten just a little bit, slightly beaten. Look at it, it's dripping, it's kind of hanging out there. And then you roll it around in your breadcrumb mixture. Roll it around. Make sure it's perfect, like, like, what is that? Place and bake, slip and dip. Put it in your pan, and you bake it at 400 degrees for 45 minutes or an hour. You go from 60% and up worth of fat down to 10%, and that's the deal here. You can eat your fried chicken, do it that way. I'm gonna show you, but now I wanna get right to the stuffing, because stuffing doesn't have to just be stuffed in a bird. I mean, I eat platefuls of this stuff. Stuffing's like the best taste ever, and you can make a stuffing that is low fat. You can eat it and you can enjoy it. Check it out, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's talk about what we're doing here. Saute your celery, and also make sure you saute your onions. You wanna grab those mushrooms, put them in a frying pan, and saute them all together. Okay, saute them up. You got them, see how good they look? And then you take that sauteed mixture and put them in the bowl with your stuffing mix and mush it all in there so it's really good. That's the stuff that gives it that great taste. And I've been eating the bowl of stuffing mix while I was waiting on this. Then you want to add your herbs. You want to add parsley, sage, thyme, nice, salt, pepper. Make sure you get the onion powder and the garlic in there. Okay, now you're going to moisten with defatted chicken broth and stir it up. Stir it up. Make sure you're following it. See how easy it is? See, it works so well. You got the taste. When you get it all stirred up, you're going to place your stuffing in a baking dish and bake it at 400 degrees for a half an hour. Okay, mush it up, stir it up, bake it easy to do and you know what you end up with watch this instant fabulous by instant i mean i got it instantly because fruity made it for me look at this now you guys are probably still baking because i'm sure you did that while i was talking i'm gonna eat it for you you have never this is good stuffing i mean it's just as good as anything i've ever tasted this stuff you know how when you get your fried chicken you love to just pull the fried stuff off and eat it well look look it is Fabulous. Now, I keep going on and on. I need a towel. Can you get me a towel, Lee? I keep going on and on about the fact that it's not about deprivation. And I've spent the last couple of years saying to people, oh, it's so easy to eat low-fat food. Because all you got to do is make it low-fat so you can have everything you want, but it's lower fat. Excuse me, let me swallow for one moment. Well, that's the point here. Whether it's fried chicken... Thank you, Rudy. Rudy's afraid to come. Everybody, this is Rudy. Camera, say Rudy. Rudy, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Rudy. Fine. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. Rudy was standing to me like this. Yeah, like it's much more natural for me to do this. Oh, never mind. So, the stuffing, by the way, 39% fat, regular stuffing. You know what the stuff that we just ate is? It's 8% fat. I really believe, because I lived it, and I know thousands of women who are also living it, I really believe that if you take 10% less fat here, 20% less fat there, 50% less fat here, by the time you've gotten up in the morning and finished your day in the evening, you may take in 50% less fat than you normally do. Now, how's that not going to make a difference in your body? You want more food? You want more recipes? You want to know how to make your thighs thinner? Come on back. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys.
KitchenAid style and substance. The thoughtful design and details of KitchenAid are available in the complete line of built-in and freestanding major appliances. KitchenAid, for the way it's made. Hey, do you have a story you want to tell us? If you'd like to be a guest on the Susan Powder Show, call, tell us your story. Thank you, thanks. For all the other talk shows who need great audiences, all you got to do is feed them low-fat meals in between, and then everything's just fine with the audience. All right, guys, we're talking sweet potatoes now. <laughs> oh, it's true. Give them some food, they'll be fine. Sweet potatoes. You know why we're talking about sweet potatoes? Because the, part of food and part of eating is the associations that we make with eating. I mean, when you think of a holiday, when you think of going to the ballpark and you think of getting a hot dog and a beer or whatever it is you get, could you imagine if somebody said to you, you're never going to eat hot dogs again, you're never going to drink a beer again, you're never going to have sweet potatoes at a Thanksgiving meal? Well, no wonder you don't want to change your lifestyle. I wouldn't. I mean, no wonder you walk around going, God, you know, the only thing I'm going to be able to eat is like rabbit food and I'm going to be deprived where everybody else is having. Well, bologna. Sweet potatoes with marshmallows baked on the top. Watch this. You want to know how to make it? I'll tell you how to make it. It's easy. All you got to do is smash your steamed sweet potatoes in a bowl. Make sure you smash them up there so they're nice and creamy. Add some orange juice. Get the salt in there. Ginger. Pour in that white pepper and mash it again. That's it. Make sure you get it all in. See how it gets real juicy with the juice? Then make sure you swoosh it all in. Then you take your sweet potato mixture and you put it into a baking dish. That's it. Once it's mashed, pour it into a baking dish. It's kind of clumpy, but ooh, by the time you bake this thing, you won't believe how good it tastes. Pack it all in there. And then here's the topping. Little tiny baby white marshmallows. Take them once you packed it down. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle them on. Fill it up. Go ahead and fill it up. Make it tasty. Make it fabulous. And bake that thing at 400 degrees for 20 minutes or until it's brown. And you know what you've done? You've gone from 39% fat for sweet yams, sweet potatoes, and marshmallows to 2%. Now, come on. I mean, 2% fat. You can't get lower than that. But you still have the taste. And above and beyond taste, because you know what? As long as it looks good, you know what I mean? Check this out. Look at this dish. Mm. It's so good. All right. Now, I mean, that is, let me dig down. I'm going to dig down. You guys need to get a pen and paper ready because at the end of this show, mmm, 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 it's so good. All you got to do is put some lemon rind around it. Get a pen and paper ready. At the end of this show, I'm going to give you an address to write to make sure you get all these recipes if you want them. Look, you see the point? So, see the point? Eat the bowl. 2% fat, what the heck? Eat the whole bowl. I'm going to still eat and talk mashed potatoes here. An association with mashed potatoes? I mean, warm, mom, when you got a tummy ache and you want something that just coats your stomach and goes down smooth, what do you get? You get a bowl of mashed potatoes. I don't know any celebration meal that doesn't include mashed potatoes. I mean, it's a big food and always. It's not the potato that's fat, it's everything else that's fat. You want to see how to make low-fat mashed potatoes? You could die for Watch this. See what we're doing here? Okay. You're taking them and you're mashing the potatoes. Smush them in a bowl. Add some non-fat milk and non-fat sour cream. See how you get that non-fat thing going on? And you smush it all up. You're going to add parsley, onion powder, and garlic powder. If you want a little more here and there, you can add a little more salt and pepper to taste. And then smash it all up. I.e., mashed potatoes. Don't you think? Keep smashing them up, and you've got your mashed potatoes. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you what they look like, because I've been eating this the whole segment. I've been eating these, because I love them. Mashed potatoes. Do they look so bad? You've gone from 35% mm, fat for regular mashed potatoes to 1% fat. So you figure. If you have, yeah. Right? Now, this is my joke here, guys. So, so far, you've got taste, you've got texture, you've got beauty, you've got food associations that you don't have to give up. Why not bring your own mashed potato dish or sweet potato dish to the next Thanksgiving meal or whatever meal that comes and just say, oh, I made you something so special. And oh, by the way, 
there's gravy that goes along with it. So people can say to you, great gravy, great mashed potatoes, great... And you don't have to tell them it's only 2% fat, but I'm telling you how they're going to find out when they look at you a couple of months later and go, God, you look so good. What have you been doing? How did you lose so much weight? And all you have to do is say, eating mashed potatoes and marshmallows, sucking down gravy. You want to see how to make low-fat gravy? Watch out, we'll make it for you. I'll show you how to make this too. Let's make it. All right? You're going to take right now deep-fatted chicken broth in a bowl, add cornstarch, onion powder. Got to have that garlic powder going on. Seasoning salt. Bouillon cubes, any kind of bouillon cubes, make sure they're low fat. Salt and pepper. Then stir it all up. Okay, make sure you stir it all up really well. Then you take all the ingredients in that bowl and you put it in a saucepan. Nice and slow, you don't want to spill that gravy, I'm telling you, it's too good to spill. You cook it over a medium heat. You know what that is, guys, medium heat, and you whisk it until it's smooth. Keep whisking. Now, here's my deal with this. Keep whisking. Whisking, what do you think that looks like? It looks like gravy. And guess what? Now, this is my big one here. Drum roll. Can I get a drum roll? We don't have a drum roll, but pretend in your head. Oh, there it is. I feel it. From 67% fat to 5% fat. Yeah! Is that good? Is that good? So, how much fat did we save in this one thing? I mean, so far. She's good. He said, she's good. She's good. You see, you can have the food. You can have the taste. You can have much, much, much less fat. The meat and potato, man, he'll never know. I'm telling you, make him some mashed potatoes. Pour a ton of gravy on top. Give him a side order of these marshmallowy things. He's never going to know that he's eating less fat, but his heart will. Not just his heart loving you. His arteries, they won't be as clogged. His heart won't be as strained. I promise you. Got heart disease? Are you dealing with morbid obesity? Are you dealing with something that is interfering with your life, but you still want to eat? Well, go on. Of course you can eat. You just have to cut down a little bit on the fat. There is more food. There's more fat fat. There's more, there's more of everything. You just got to come back and see it. That's all. It's coming up. Come on back. I'm going to eat more.